Radio Roulette, Radio Roulette, Radio Roulette. That was Chopin's Prance in E flat major, and that goes out to Mongi Roach, who's serving a life sentence in the Midlands prison, Port Leash. Is that the big? The travellers are back in the news. Are they ever out of the news? But uh, right, the size of them. Yes. Do they not make fantastic rugby players. Now that is a good point, and I had it in mind to say that. Leave the slash hook at home and get your arm around the Samoan's neck and see where it goes. You know. Isn't that where they came from, Samoa, originally? Originally, they travelled over from Samoa, indeed, the Ant- Antipodean Islands. And uh, that's why they're here in Ireland, and that's why they're not settled. Visit the... Ah, oh, good morning. Oh, yeah. Hi. You were amazing last night. Mmm. Come here. I can't, sorry. Oh, my God. You regret it, don't you? No, no, please, oh, it's no. not you. I just, I just... I can't have sex unless I'm drunk. <laughs> Is that all? It's not funny. It's pathetic. Not if you use a Kennedy's drunken fuck condom. The crowd that makes the tires. Not since the bypass. Here, try it. See, it stinks of booze. Kennedy's drunken fuck condoms. For doing it before opening time. Oh, oh, Debbie. Oh. It's done. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Come on, finish up, folks. Oh. Um, it's uh, thanks for having me on the show. I, I just want uh, our our company, End Life Solutions and Torture uh, Apparatus, I was set up in uh, 2011. So what we do is we, we uh, manufacture electric chairs. We have lethal injection uh, syringes, uh, which are metal. Uh, our, our most popular uh, product, uh, especially in Washington State and Ohio and Montana, is the firing squad rifles, which, if I don't know if you're aware, it's not any old rifle. It's like if you know if you watch Harlan and you see the goalkeeper, you say to yourself, that's a different Harlan now than the rest of them. Well, the firing squad rifle is kind of like that. It's different in two. It's a bigger, bigger item. Now, we have one of the company's first employees, Kevin Corley. Kevin, you earn your money. <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's some job. But I'm, I'm very glad uh, to TJ for, for employing me. I was unemployed for 10 years. I, I, I killed my father. And uh, I was away in uh, St. Patrick's. Lucky, and you, lucky you killed him in Ireland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you right. If you were over in Ohio now, uh, you'd, uh, you'd be... Uh, <laughs> 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 it'd be Jesus, it'd be something else. Another story. <laughs> I know. When I did, I shot him when I was 10. And I was uh, put away for a while in an institution. Yeah. And, and then when TJ opened the factory there in 2011, I had no job for 10 years. And he says uh, he need, he's looking for a psychopath. Yeah. You've been diagnosed yeah. as a psychopath. Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah. I went to uh, Dublin. Yeah, yeah. They did uh, scans all over my brain. Is that different from a sociopath? Oh, or? it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't relate to people at all uh, in, in any shape or form. I don't. I don't. I've no, I, I don't care what people are thinking or feeling or any of that. I just the, don't the care. The thing we like about Kevin is that he has no empathy. <laughs> That's Which right. Very a big, a big plus in our business. So I thought it was it was a great job for me to try out the the devices and all the torture devices. Uh, they they put me in the electric chair. The half yeah. killed me, half killed me. There was smoke coming out of my ears. So they, they would, but they uh, well, survived it. Like you survived know, it. So once we, once he didn't die the first time, we thought we're on a winner here. Unfortunately, you or I don't get to see the fruits of your labour here in our nanny state. But have you got to see any of your products in action? You know, in the states or whatever. Well, me and Kevin went over. We got a tour of the place and we seen Death Can Row. Be and, all. and then I, With the Kevin went mad because Kevin got excited because he <laughs> saw it, saw it of our chair. That's our chair. He was <laughs> there, that's our I chair. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe couldn't it. Couldn't believe it. Now, of course, this was an actual execution. Did you find it upsetting? I mean, you know, people do. <laughs> oh, no, I had a sneaky well, little wank bit, after. I was, bit, <laughs> I was a bit... I couldn't ups- believe it. I was a bit upset um, by it mm. because I felt that... The left armrest wasn't uh, in line. The armrest was slightly out of kilter. He's an artist. An you know, artist. And I just, I just, that got me. Can you imagine the skid marks on elephant butt life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Taylor Swift. 
Send me some of the lads. Hey, I hear you hear you. We can't hear you. Well, what I may suggest uh, is if you could turn up the radio. I don't know if there's a volume. I have it at the top volume. I, it's at the very top. And I can't hear you. Right. I don't know what to say. Is that any better? It's a little bit louder. Also. We have a fella here from Pollock who's heading out to Afghanistan. Now, he's a bit nervous and wondered if you have a bit of advice for him. I mean, you do hear scary things about the Taliban. Not the Taliban. I mean, I grew up in Vingles, you know what I mean? If you lived through that, you know, I'm going to say, Isis, bring her on. Do you know what I'm saying? I've been there at a fucking checkpoint. I was over doing a few deliveries in the vans, you know, prayer mats, burkas, whips, the usual shit, you know. I've got fucking Aslan blade now with a blade motor, you know. And your man, the Taliban dude, is going fucking Epo. Epo? Epileptic, you know, fucking shouting and shaping and shouting. Oh, the fucking car. Oh, the car. Oh, the blue shoulder with the fucking, you know. No, no, he says, fuck off. I said, he backed down fairly fucking fast, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't take it. Knew I wouldn't fucking take it. And then his fucking buddy says, it's against the prophet, it's against the prophet. Says I, says who? The imam, the imam. The, the, the. And I says, I know the imam. He's a fucking mate of mine. Get the fucking imam on the phone. Or is that against the fucking rules as well? So, gets the fucking imam on the phone, you know. And I fucking in the crack with the imam, you know what I'm fucking saying. I'm slagging the fucking bollocks off him. And then he tells your man to fuck off. You know, if you're going, use your fucking noggin, you know what I mean? But don't take it. You know, it's universal. Just tell them to fuck off. Visit the... Kira Claffy, 19, from Drumscally, is pregnant again. A new category has been announced to facilitate the further downgrading of Kraha General Hospital. I've got the joke here now. So basically, it looks like a regular copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. But when you open it up, and I'm opening it up now, it goes... So you like it. Oh, the <laughs> anyway, Dune, what did you make of it? Oh, I really don't like this. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is the most misogynistic, uh, turgid, exploitative, crass, and strangely boring book I've ever had the misfortune of having to read. And I cannot believe it, but this item actually manages even to top that. Also, bizarrely, it's aimed at men when the book is squarely aimed at women. I don't understand this. Well, he has a point there, figure it. Uh, well, just look, you simply, you just get one out for the women. Call you dirty cunt. Huh? <laughs> this is outrageous, Pascal. I mean, you bring down the tone of this whole review show. Come here, come here, come here. Get off me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get off me. Fuck off. Fuck off, you sick bastard. Fuck off. Look at him. Get your, get your fucking, get your fucking Irish hands off me, you sick bastard. Oh, so there you have it. <laughs> this story is definitely going to run and run and run and run and run and run. You have been listening to Radio Roulette, written by and starring Paul Woodfull and Patrick McDonnell, with Barbara Bergen, John Caleri and Matt Houlihan. Music by Paul Woodfull. Radio Roulette was produced by Matt Houlihan for the International Radio Company. <laughs>